here's the brain. The big brain, and then we have the emotional brain underneath. The only two parts of the brain that I care about are the red hypothalamus and the blue hippocampus. So the hypothalamus is the chemical factory of the brain. So it makes the neurotransmitters, the hormones, and the peptides. The hippocampus is the learning and memory center of the brain. It's also where most of your new brain cells are made. So as long as you're doing all the right things, you would be, you would be growing a new healthy brain long into your old age. So this is what happens. Something happens, you get really upset, you have now set up the stress response. So the hypothalamus sends peptides down your spine to the adrenals, which are on top of your kidneys. And they start secreting adrenaline and cortisol. In the meantime, the hippocampus is monitoring the levels of these chemicals. And at some point, it will signal to the hypothalamus, OK, you can stop now. So it stops, signaling down to, adrenaline, down to the adrenals. And as these chemicals come down, you calm down. So it should only take a few minutes. But with chronic stress, that's a completely different animal. Because now the brain is subject to many cycles of stress activation. And as a result, the hippocampus, the cells there, are firing so often that they actually start wearing out. And they can no longer signal to the hypothalamus to stop. So now you're getting all this adrenaline and cortisol, and that's why for a lot of people it takes a long time to calm down, or maybe they never really calm down. Also, existing brain cells are dying off, and the hippocampus loses the ability to make new brain cells. So what does that mean to you? Chronic stress shrinks your brain.